Wow, what an intro, hey? Hey everybody, Leon Shore here with another Skyrim Anniversary Edition mod showcase for the Xbox One. Now, here is the Nexus page for the mod Regal Dragons uh, SSE Retexture mod by Cravelt Zero, the original creator of this mod, and this mod has been ported over to us at Bethesda.net uh, by Squeezy15, I believe is the name, as we'll be seeing here coming up shortly. Now, uh, that intro, uh, that was not done by me. I, if only, if only I had the skills <laughs> to create uh, a tribute intro video uh, for this mod. <laughs> no, um, Sir Asher on YouTube created that video and I'm gonna leave the direct link uh, in the description box to take you straight to that YouTube video and uh, yeah so I take no credit for that all right so everybody I know I know I know Game of Thrones dragons is all the rage right now it's like uh, you know it just has exploded onto the scene Diverse dragons combined with Game of Thrones dragons. We have that mod. We also have uh, a couple other options for the Game of Thrones dragons replacers on Bethesda.net ported over. And I, I, I will say they, they look cool. They do look cool. And uh, actually, uh, having seen some, uh, some, uh, some some photos on the Nexus and at Bethesda.net and some YouTube videos. They uh, they're quite lore friendly actually. However, if you are thinking, I gotta have that Game of Thrones dragon replacer mod in some form, one way or another, because I've tried every other dragon replacer mod and I just don't think anything compares to the Game of Thrones dragons, I would like for you to maybe reconsider. If you have tried HD reworked dragons collection, ported over to us by Stone Spiral Gaming. If you've tried Dark Ages dragon textures, if you've tried Belly Aches uh, dragon replacers, if you've tried virtually every one that you could find at Bethesda.net, uh, I would like to uh, showcase for you and host for you a rare hidden gem, Diamond in the Rough. Regal Dragons. Uh, this mod is, in, is just absolutely incredible and I have personally tried uh, probably close to a dozen uh, different dragon replacer mods over the last uh, <laughs> since ever since uh, Skyrim Special Edition for the Xbox One with mod support launched and Dragon Replacer mods started coming out. Um, I've tried virtually all of them. Uh, tried them out, and in, in, in one form or another, I just, you know, I, I wasn't 100% satisfied. They, they either looked too vanilla, you know, with just a little bit of touch-ups here and there, shapes, little, little tweaks here and there, or they, uh, well, you know, my, my biggest complaint with 99% of all of the Dragon Replacer mods that I've tried in the past has been that they have all just been too close to vanilla textures with the exception of some, some tweaks, uh, some, uh, some, some, you know, colors, you know, uh, 
colors as in like you know the dragon models in the files had actually just had some some recoloring done and that was pretty much it without any like high resolution textures and the dragon replacer mods that I did find with really really nice high res textures pretty much just looked like high resolution 2k 4k vanilla dragons with maybe a little uh, 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 tweak to some colors on the wings or the scales or you know what I mean um, and not to throw belly aches under the bus or uh, or any of those I mean you know uh, I I enjoyed having them in my load order for for quite a good while, um, but in the end, eventually, I just I just like I said, I just needed something more. Now the Game of Thrones uh, uh, mods, uh, dragon replacer mods that are available uh, at Bethesda.net are enormous in file size. That's that's the biggest downside for me with the diverse uh, a dance with Game of Thrones uh, it, it's a diverse dragons uh, mod um, with the Game of Thrones dragons sprinkled in mixed in enormous file size and then there's standalone Game of Thrones dragon replacers but they don't replace all of the dragons in the game just a few here and there. So let me just cut cut to the chase and and tell you guys that this mod is is just incredible. Here here are some uh, shots that I took of just the loading screens as when you install this mod it will overhaul all the dragons in the game with just a couple exceptions but I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, uh, it replaces uh, every single dragon in the game except for Alduin and Dernavir. So let me tell you, just hang in there. I have some video gameplay footage coming up. It is 110% worth it to you guys. Uh, for you guys to consider downloading this mod and just go go going on ahead and uh, and using uh, sorry for his head being clipped off there uh, and uh, using an extra ESP slot or two to uh, download a separate mod that will uh, Retexture Alduin and or Dernavir, if you care about either one of those. Other than Alduin and Dernavir, this mod covers every single dragon in the game from the base low level simply titled dragon to blood dragon to elder dragon to ancient dragon revered dragon legendary dragons all of the special named dragons uh parthenax or yeah parthenax parthen parthenax why can't i get that uh pronounced right covers covers him <laughs> And uh, also covers Odaving. So you've got ninety, you've got ninety-eight and a half percent of all of your dragons covered, except for Alduin and Dernavir. So here, let's have a let's have a video look. This is me uh, up against a blood dragon out of all of all of the many 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 dragons that this mod retextures this is just one of the blood dragons and I wanted to show you all this uh, 
so that you could see how absolutely magnificent utterly utterly look at this magnificent these dragons are in terms of textures full-on replacer overhauls uh, to appearances now as you'll see here you can see right here have a look uh, these dragons are not just tweaked in terms of added colors these dragons have been overhauled texture wise upscaled 1k so 512 is an upscaled 1k so it's extremely performance friendly these dragons have again I cannot stress enough they have not just been uh, given a coat of paint that the, these dragons are not just recolors they are full-on retextures with with uh, upscaled 1k quality and um, just just incredible this mod uh, has become a staple um, in my load order and um, if you would like to save an incredible amount of reserve space on the Xbox, I strongly, strongly recommend this mod. It comes in at only, I think it's 60 megabytes. I, ah, I forgot. Or less, or maybe a little more, give or take. And uh, yeah, I've, I, I'm, I'm just sold 100%. I've been at this, you guys, for uh, a lot of years. And with Regal Dragons, this mod is just so, so incredible. And this, this is just a blood dragon. So you, you still have all, you know, all the other dragons from Dragon this is blood dragon and elder revered legendary ancient then you have all of the named dragons and you also get to have odaving uh odaving uh completely overhauled as well and parthenax parthenax thank you thank you for correcting me uh those of you who just did so uh, I have my difficulty set to novice just so that I can take as much damage as I can and you know just you know bob and weave around this blood dragon and uh, you know get some uh, some good visuals for you and uh, I do eventually cut him down right here and uh, after the uh, dragon soul absorption have a look at uh, the look at, at the textures and the resolution and just this is just a look at, at the uh, blood dragon from regal dragons the uh, the dragon replacer mod that I've been looking for for years and years and years these dragons are fierce. Not only are they retextured and looking beautiful, but their their heads, their horns, their faces up close, they are just menacing, fierce looking. So this is one for you all to consider. I hope you will consider this mod. Now Here's a little special treat for you uh, here at the end that I would like to share with you all. Uh, literally seven years ago, I believe, I don't know, I can't see the date of when this was uploaded, 
somewhere between four or five years ago. I, I cannot see in my editor program. This is a mod that I co-created with The Lawful. The Mighty Lawful, the author of all of the TLS mods that um, they, they themselves created from scratch. And also, The Lawful has brought over some ports to us from, from the Nexus. This mod in particular, uh, way back in the day when you could actually use the messaging system on Bethesda.net, I contacted the lawful and I asked if uh, he would work together with me to create a very simple mod that adds five five random dragons, vanilla dragons, into the Forgotten Vale. So you know. After the Forgotten Veil is completely cleared out, you've, you've done absolutely every quest, you've picked up every single item, and you're done with the Forgotten Veil, you still have that fast travel marker on your map permanently after that to be able to travel to this beautiful world space that's isolated far away off the map. <coughs> Excuse me. And I asked the lawful, I said, would it be possible to just add five low-level vanilla dragons into the Forgotten Veil? <clears throat> Excuse me, he got back to me, he said, sure, let's do it. This mod doesn't even weigh in at one megabyte, it's just a few kilobytes. And all it does is it just adds in five hand-placed low-level vanilla dragons, a couple, like two regular dragons, and three blood dragons. It can, it can vary. And so if you have, I highly recommend that you do everything that you need to do in the Forgotten Veil first. If you've done everything and you have that empty, beautiful, icy, you know, isolated world space with a map marker to travel to, and you would like to use this mod, what this mod does is just, it's just five hand-placed low-level dragons that will respawn every in-game 10 days. So if you kill them all, absorb their souls, leave, wait 10 days you can come back and you can continue farming the dragons for souls now the cool thing is is that if you place this mod dragons of the forgotten veil vale, above any dragon replacer mod that you are using that dragon replacer mod is going to overwrite the hand placed vanilla dragons in this mod and you will see your dragons of choice appear here <clears throat> every 10 days whether it whether you know any uh any uh dragon replacer retexture overhaul mod that uh, you've chosen uh, as long as you have that below this mod in your load order and have this mod above it you will see those changes to these dragons here. So every 10 days, you know, if you're like me and you have a mod installed that uh, disables dragon attacks to towns and villages, settlements, cities, like I do, if you're like me, uh, and um, <clears throat> you don't uh, want to, you know, go straight to the word walls yet to fight the dragons, etc. And you just want to fight some dragons every now and again, just have this mod come here and there you go. So little treat for you there at the end. I hope you'll consider Regal Dragons. This has been Leon Shore. I'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you for watching.